Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today, and I think this is a good one as far as my Ancient America series, and I just want to mention uh, one or two things here before I get into this video. Since I have so many subjects to cover and I get a lot of questions, I think I'm going to do another Q&A video. I can go through a lot of different subjects in one video, and those of you who have sent me messages on my email and on Facebook, I have looked at those and I'm going to be using some of those in the video. So keep on sending me those messages. Just because I don't return your messages doesn't mean I haven't looked at it or looked into it. I just want to say that. And I've had uh, just a ton of questions on Atlantis and I will be going over theories that I think are possible and ones that I think certainly are not possible. And I have had some questions on uh, Facebook and other social media sites. Well, I am on Facebook, but I don't go there too often. Usually YouTube takes up all my time for social media, and I see I have 55 notifications, so I don't go on here too much. But I will be using some of your questions that you people have sent me on Facebook in my Q&A video. And I, and I have started using Instagram a little bit more. I got 98 followers now. But I post some of my videos, some uh, stuff from around Las Vegas, and a few just random posts, I guess. But this would be the place where I just post stuff on, not on Facebook. But if you want to follow me on Instagram, well, I'll probably follow you back. Give me a little eye into what my subs are up to. But that is my Instagram page, and I will leave a link below. Let's go down to Auburn, New York, and the Fort Hill Cemetery. And I have talked a lot about cultures moving into these ancient sites and then repurposing them, using them to bury their own dead, leaving offerings. Well, I'm going to talk about a culture that buried their dead on some ancient ruins, and that culture is our own today. This is the site of ancient earthworks mounds. And how far back do these go? Well, the story here has been muddled from the beginning. Now here is a sign down on the road. It says, Fort Hill, prehistoric Indian fort, traditional birthplace of Chief Logan, now a cemetery. And I've read about other places in the United States that cemeteries were built right on these sacred mound builder sites, and this is just one of them. But this place hasn't really been brought up, and maybe how ancient it really is. And we have other sites I still have not talked about where cemeteries were put in right on these sacred sites. Here is a place in Madison, Wisconsin, a cemetery. I think this is Forest Hill Cemetery. But this cemetery was built right on top of and around ancient earthworks and effigies. Now, back in the mid-1800s, it seems this is the way it went. A lot of these ancient sacred sites that people really didn't have any answers for, they were turned into Christian burial sites. They were kind of repurposed. What was this originally? Was it a prehistoric Indian fort? Well, I've talked about a lot of places that are called forts that are not forts at all. They are sacred, they are sacred spots with mounds and hinges and probably astronomical observatories built in, but let me just show you a few pics. This is called the spiral knob, and this is on top of the mound. I think it, we have many man-made features in the cemetery. This is called the spiral knob. Here you see the mounds built in at the top, a pair of them. There are alleyways, there are hinges with ditches, and this just seems to be something totally different than an ancient Indian fort. Now, on their website, I just wanted to read what they say the history is. It says, Fort Hill Cemetery is both a historic site and an active cemetery. So, they clearly say this is an historic site with a cemetery built into it. It says, the original cemetery consisted of 22 acres. Fort Hill is rich in history. In the middle of the 16th century, the local Indians use the area as a fortified hill. Some historians believe the Cayuga Indians built the fort for defense during the many wars that raged between the Indian tribes. After, after the Iroquois Confederacy was formed, the wars ended and the Cayugas left to seek new homes. Well, this prehistoric Indian fort was never a fort. 
this was some sort of temple on top of the hill with man-made earthworks. He had some big huge trees that just as stumps were found in some of these alleyways and ditches around these hinges and the rings go back at least 350 years way back into the 1400s so we know stuff was growing on this site way way before the 17th century but it just seems very clear that people are buried on top of the sacred ancient site here how far back does this go in my mind well i think it goes back maybe three four thousand years what does this remind me of well well the one thing i can certainly compare it to and it jumped out at me right away this is my video from uh april giant henge and lost astronomers of indiana and this place looks just like this place in so many ways this place is very ancient and then the story was put out that well the cemetery is just built on top of an indian fort well this place was an astronomical observatory this per place is perched up but this place is the highest point in the, all the surrounding land this would have been a great observatory what these were exactly used for i'm not sure but this is ancient and this was a sacred place in present-day western new york now how did i stumble onto this story well i was actually looking at another fort hill and this is in ohio and i might make a video on this because this place is probably just as mysterious and maybe built by the same people and ironically enough fort hill we call these places the same names today i think they're very ancient and i might be doing a video on this and when i mentioned that tree stump found that was found in the 1800s and had tree rings that went back over 350 years now there really isn't much on youtube as far as this place and associating it with the mound builders and really going into the history but here is a video and you can see this huge mound here and then we have a bank all the way around it with a ditch like a hinge here you see another area and these earthworks are all up on top of here here you see the clear symmetry and the mound up on top here and i'd really like to go here and do some filming and just look around but here you can see we're on top looking down this is a man-made mound on top and it's huge then you just have the cemetery built in on top and around it now here is an overview of fort hill cemetery and let's try to get an idea of where these ancient ruins are in the cemetery and if we go over to this diagram here you can see from overhead we are on the diagram this is fort Alagon. this is where all the ancient ruins are and this was a man-made mound and just how much of this whole area is man-made well i think there is a lot of it we have circles and other things here here is a total diagram of the cemetery and there's a few things i want to point out here number five is a monument to indian orator chief logan a chief that was born at this site over 200 years ago from the cayuga tribe i believe and we also have some famous people here william h seward who uh, arranged for the purchase of Alaska and was Secretary of State for Lincoln. We have Miles Keough. He was killed at the Battle of Bighorn with Custer. And also Harriet Tubman from the Civil War time period is also buried here, leader of the Underground Railroad. But here is the area we know the man-made earthworks and the huge mound and whatever Sun Temple or whatever that thing is in there. This is where it's located. Let's go down and look around here. Snoop around on Google Street View. And Google Street View is a great thing to use when you have access to these sites here. Let's just peek around. But here, the street comes up. And then up here in the woods is ancient mound builder ruins. But down here, you can even see, I wonder if some of these backyards are part of earthworks with the terracing and then the flat tops here. Oh, I wonder about that. But just going over here is kind of where the mound starts. And you can see the change in elevation. And up here, 2,000 years ago maybe, a lot of activity, a lot of building, important spot in the ancient United States. But they say this is built 
on a historic site, and even the sign says it's prehistoric. But just a few more pics to look at. Here is the sign by the entranceway. It says Fort Hill of Mound Builder Origin. Who exactly are the Mound Builders? What period of Mound Building? Is it the earliest period? Well, now here is another area of the cemetery. You see there are earthworks throughout this place. Up on top in what they call the Allegon Fort. Here is what they call the Knob. Were they looking at the heavens, observing the heavens from here in ancient times? You see how the cemetery is just intruded. Here is another pic. See the mounds, symmetry, earthworks. How far back this goes, who knows? Here, you kind of see how they're fit into the side of the mound, this huge mound here. But this is Seward's grave, I believe. But here is the obelisk to Chief Logan, built on a big mound and even on top of another earthwork on top of the mound in the main part of what they call the Allegon Fort. Now let's just read about the origin of Fort Hill. Near the center of the track called Fort Allegon was a settlement of early indigenous people, the Allegons. Well, other people who have investigated the site don't call them the Allegons. What do they call them? They call them the Mound Builders. The site was later occupied by the Cayugas and later the Osco. The boundaries of that village were defined by a series of earthen mounds separated by entrances leading to a rounded elevation in the center. It is atop this center mound that the monument to Tagajute or Logan is situated. Legend says that Logan, a prominent leader of the Cayuga Nation, was born at the site when it was occupied by the Cayuga over 200 years ago. It says the site was examined by Henry R. Schoolcraft in 1845, along with S. A. Goodwin and J. H. Bostick, and then again in 1850 by E. G. Squires. And that is the name he investigated the Mound Builder sites. And it says in his book, The Antiquities of New York, Squires refers to the fortress or Fort Hill as one of the best preserved and most interesting works in the state is that overlooking Auburn. So the guy who was looking at all the Mound Builder sites and documenting them was here in 1850. I'll let you think about that. The guy who was investigating the Mound Builder sites, this Squires guy. He investigates this in 1850. In 1852, it's turned into a Christian cemetery. Wrap your head around that. And it really fits what we all are thinking about at that time period in the United States. But there was a definite attempt to repurpose these ancient sites into something more modern and acceptable to the settlers. But that is the first video done on the Fort Hill Cemetery in the ancient mound builder ruins on YouTube. I enjoy bringing you these stories that nobody has heard of before and really nobody knows existed. Do the people here even know what they have right under their coffins? I'm not sure what you all think of that, but all these sites are different. I have showed other cemeteries built right over mound builder sites. I thought the story here is fascinating what this is, how far back it goes, I think that's a huge mystery. Hope you thought that's cool, and you all have a very nice day.